Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, what's next after you cleaned up your PC and updated everything? Well, it will be to, of course, install your favorite software that you use. But keep it to a minimum. Do not install anything that you never use. Do not install any cleaners. You don't need cleaners. You don't need CCleaner. It's useless. What it does, and most of the time people think, that, oh, wow, well, it does a great job at cleaning. It doesn't clean anything. It removes files, temporary files. It barely scratches the surface of removing things in the registry because the registry, you cannot do major changes or you'll be bogged down. It's so minimal what it does that it does nothing. And Windows does not need cleaners, optimizers of any kind. Actually, people that have those, are the ones that need a tech guy more often, are the ones that have more problems than everybody else, are the ones that have Windows updates that always crash and never have, a, you know, never work. These are the people that are in most of the problems. So keep to the minimum. You want to have Google Chrome? Well, download Chrome, um, you know, use Edge, go download Google Chrome if you want, things like that. Yeah, okay, just what you need, nothing more. Nothing more. Antivirus, it's up to you. I know some people really are, you know, like whatever they are using and they want to have it back and they want to have that. It's fine. Remember that, once again, for updates to new versions of Windows and for problems, there is an increased number of problems when people use third-party antivirus. It depends which one. But it's up to you if you prefer to use something else in Windows security. But remember that it doesn't change anything. Whatever you're using isn't better than Windows security. You know, all of these tests that you could see online is going to say, well, you know, we tested, yeah, you tested with, you know, 50 signatures. The majority of new viruses today are going to go through every antivirus that you have without being detected. A lot of them just go through. That's why it's common sense that is important with updates, not the antivirus. Too many of them are just going through without you, um, you know, the antivirus reacting to it. Plus, there's all sorts of mitigation that goes through, you know, Google Chrome and the browsers today sandbox everything. So what's within the browser often cannot really get outside of it if it's up to date also. That's why update, 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 update the browser, update Windows. That is really the security with you just using common sense, which is what most people actually do. A big, big chunk of people are using the Windows security app. Fine. Never have viruses. Why? Because they just use the common sense. Don't click on everything they see. Don't go download illegal files. And just do not click on uh, any of the links or attachments and emails that they have no idea what it is. Simple rules that keep you safe. As long as Windows is updated, your browser is updated, the antivirus does nothing. It doesn't, you know, you, would, you could run Windows without an antivirus and not have any viruses. The antivirus doesn't protect you in real time with what you do. It does not have to protect you in real time because if you're up to date, there's no way that viruses get in because there's no security flaws to exploit. So we do keep a minimum. I always say, well, you know, yeah, better have one like Windows Security just to be on the safe side of when it might be doing a job that it is supposed to do. But it's, in general, pretty much useless. Whatever antivirus you use is fine. You don't need to have anything else in Windows Security. That's all. Just keep your software to a minimum. No optimizers, no cleaners, and just make sure that you install just what you need and use on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.